Hello YouTube. This is Quality Knife Sharpening in the Wolf Den one more time. This is Captain Dave and I'm sitting here looking at the difference between the Lightning Elite OTF and the original Lightning. Now, it is of what is sort of being talked about in the cheap Chinese OTF world that the Elite is a better knife, most likely. And from owning both, I can tell you, I don't believe that to be a fact. I've been on a website that I will link below and literally I don't understand why it's there. There's lightnings listed and the lightning elite on there is referred to as the lightning two or the lightning three. And then there's the original. A lot of guys who are kind of reviewing these, cheap OTFs that really work. They really work. And they make a fantastic everyday carry that you don't have to worry about because if you lose it, you just didn't lose, you know, $300 or anything. And I'm going to point out what they don't point out. Okay, a lot of guys have kind of reviewed these side by side. And yes, on the Lightning Elite, it says Lightning Elite on the pay, on the uh, pocket clip, and there's three screws holding it. All right, so that that's okay. It's got good tension. On the original Lightning, which is Taiwan, and this is supposedly China, one and the same, I guess, but. Taiwan having so much of a blade smithing kind of heritage going on. People most of the time will give Taiwan a whole lot more credit <clears throat> than they will China. On this one, it's only got two screws and people say, well, it loosens up all the time. We'll just tighten it. Put some thread locker in there and tighten it. But when you look at the hardware here, look at the size of the screws, the difference in the size of the screws. And this is square and these are rounded. So this is a different mold completely. When they cast this, it is a different mold. It has basically the same configuration of being that's kind of blocky and everything, being a two-piece sandwiched together, but these are totally different knives. This isn't the Lightning Elite and they just put a different pocket clip on it, right? The button is different. If I line these up, you can see this button on the original Taiwanese Lightning is a little longer and it has a larger flat top on it than the Lightning Elite. Believe it or not, I like this so much better if I had my druthers. As a matter of fact, I just like the original Lightning a lot more than the Lightning Elite when I do a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, so up here, it's basically the same on this end. Look at the hardware. These, this hardware is much larger and a lot beefier than this hardware. This is 
That's a T8 all day long. That is a T6. So it's actually larger screws. I like that because these knives create a lot of vibration with their going out. This one has a single spring. This one has double springs. And many times, as people have talked about, you get a little more spring twang in the handle here because the springs are kind of not smashing together, but they're just very close. It's not that bad to worry about. Now, you may get one where it's just terrible that you just can't take it any longer, right? This one has the fuller blade with the fuller on it. The original Lightning doesn't, and it just says Lightning. When I look at these two blades, the original Lightning is wider blade and just just a hair longer. All right. This one, underneath the paint coating or whatever is on here, you can't see big milling marks. But on the Lightning Elite, you can see these milling marks. Everything on the Lightning Elite is kind of glossy where everything on the original Lightning is subdued. The coloration on the blade here is a subdued kind of black, more of a matte black, where this has got a little gloss to it. So when it really boils down to it, who's faster? I don't know. They seem about the same. But when it comes right down to it, if somebody handed me both, which of course I handed myself because I've got both, what is the one that you actually prefer? I prefer the original Lightning. And there's a lot of people that agree with me. Just because the Lightning Elite came out and Grindworks, of course, was selling it, and kind of touting the fact that it is an improved lightning. Well, maybe not. It's all in your perspective. I don't think it's an improvement. The only thing that I can say that is 100% improvement is the Lightning Elite is painted on the inside where the original lightning you can see, I'm not going to take them apart. There's plenty of videos for you to see for that. But in inside of the, the original Lightning, it's raw aluminum, raw zinc or whatever they call it. A lot of people said, oh, when they came out with the new Light, Lightning Elite, everything was smoother. Well, the only difference I can see is they continued the jimping on the handle to the other side where over here it stops and that's the seam. I don't find that hard or, or terrible by any means. For what this costs, I can get these, I believe I got these for $21, $22. And I will list the website that I look at a lot for a bunch of Chinese knives. This one may or may not just barely rub. I see sometimes, well, I don't know if it's a my, fig to my imagination, but sometimes it looks like there's a little tiny mark along the blade where basically on the Lightning Elite, I've never really seen that. 
Not that I can tell. One guy said, if you compare the steels of these two blades, this Lightning Elite is utter garbage. Totally soft garbage, which is true. I do a lot of knife sharpening because this is quality knife sharpening, Jacksonville, Florida. And sitting to my left is my Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro Sharpener. And these come up with such a wicked edge on these Lightning Elites. But then at the same time, when I got these, these original Lightnings, these things were really, really sharp. I mean, super sharp, paper cutting sharp right out of the box. The only thing I've done with this one is use some lapping film which is like three micron, five micron, and just gone over the edge a little bit. This one is 19 degrees each side. This one is 20 degrees each side. So there's a little difference in the, in the, uh, the edges. All right, so if I was to recommend one, just myself as an owner, as a person who has sharpened them all, I would say I'd go with the original Lightning. Just because this is what they were charging was $5 more on websites like Grindworks and saying it's new and improved doesn't necessarily mean it is. One guy was discussing how the internals of this are, and I know what he's talking about, are so much better than the internals on this, on the Elite. So it's up to you to make the decision if you're in the market for your first OTF, or if you're like me, I've had tons of OTFs and I will I will EDC this every day. Doesn't bother me. I'm not gutting a cow. I don't need super steels, right? I don't need them. This does all the tasks that I needed to do, just as if, as this one did all the tasks I needed to do. But if I had my druthers, I'm going with the original. And you can see here even, this one has more of a distinct sharpening choil right there. You can see that choil right there. And this one has not as deep, but it does have a sharpening choil. And you look at it, see how the black stops and it's squared off where this, they made it a little fancier. You know what these knives are like, and I was talking to a friend and I said, when you, when you like something and you carry this more than you do your, you know, your $200 Guardian Tactical with LMAX steel, but you carry this it's what it's like is for me, it's like, I would love to have, you know, a 1974 Ford 100 high boy four wheel drive truck in standard transmission or one of the absolute first gen Dodge Rams with the Cummins in it. The, that, has an appeal to some people, believe it or not, as a daily driver. Wouldn't bother me a bit. My 2008 Dodge has nothing in it compared to these $80,000 pickup trucks. Does it bother me? No. It's got power steering, power brakes, 
a little bit of a tweaked out engine, okay? Um, brand new exhaust, nice tires, got some, some stuff under the hood going on. Bench seat, you know, kind of, uh, well, they call it a 60, 60, 40 or something kind of seat. I don't need an $80,000 pickup truck with all those bells and whistles. And if I lose this, being it's an old, like an old pickup truck, even though it's new, for $22, I won't be crying. No crying going on. I wouldn't be crying if I lost this one either. But I'll be even crying less because what I always do with these is you always buy two. So you have one as a spare, be it the Elite or the original. So I just thought I'd pass this on. There is a difference. And it doesn't mean because this is elite and they say it's better, it does not mean it's better than the original that they've been pumping out for I don't know how long that this thing has been being made. So... I don't know how long they've been making this. I'd love to know, but how long they've been making this one. They were trying to knock this one off. I don't know, but there is a difference between these two bodies. There is a significant amount of difference to say this one isn't the same casting mold as they're not the same casting mold. This is a different casting mold than this original. So I hope that covers a little bit of stuff on here. Look below, look below in the video description, and I am going to give you a wonderful website where you can even buy these in dozens if you want, along with a whole bunch of other Chinese imported out the fronts and a bunch of other knives too. They do some kind of wholesaling, I guess you could call it, where they can sell you a dozen of them. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because nobody ever seems to do that. They forget about it. And I'm not one to always beg, but Lightning's OTFs are kind of a little bit of a hot topic. They're kind of a bit of a hot topic. And the only way that my video or anything will go anywhere, because I've got other videos about Lightnings and the Lightning Elite and the Lightning Fireball and a bunch of other, I got an entire playlist about knives and knife sharpening. As you can see right here, this is my next project. I got four bucks to put an edge on. Well, it gets back to this. This is the original. And this is something else. Give the video a thumbs up if you learned anything here at Quality Knife Sharpening. I'm Captain Dave, and I'll talk to you later.